side of Bemidji. Actually, it's not a bad place. It's a lot, a lot of water out here, folks. It's uh, quite nice, except when we have thunderstorms, then it really starts getting yucky. I'll tell you one thing, though. It sure would be nice to have air conditioning. <laughs> However, it's, uh, <laughs> it's hot here already, and it's going to go over 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's uh, 30 plus or so centigrade, so, and it's muggy. Oh, God. Now, you'll notice the shirt that I'm wearing out here. It's the same one I've had on for the uh, complete trip so far. So I've had it with me for the last uh, one, two, three. This is my third day I've been wearing it. But don't worry, folks, I did wash it. I, I washed it in the hotel room, and I... Uh, Midgey traffic, Midgey 2 on taxing from the ramp. We'll be taxing via Bravo for runway 25. Crossing runway 31. Okay, I guess I can turn that off now I'm out of the area. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> I, uh, I washed it really nice and there was an ironing board and also a, uh, a uh, nice iron and uh, I ironed it nice and neat like I think it's neater than it was before. So I uh, know I haven't been wearing it all the time uh, as a same shirt every day type thing and not having had it washed. And uh, while I was off camera, I did have another shirt on. <laughs> so th just in case you guys start wondering, you know, you're probably saying, oh, geez, there's that guy again, boy, he's wearing the same damn shirt, and uh, I don't know about him. But anyway, uh, no, I, I did change it. Anyway, off to a nicer subject. Just look ahead here. See all those lakes? And there's just oodles of them. They're all over the place. So you can understand why you get all this instability out here. You know, you got so much moisture uh, content in the air here. And then, of course, you got the Great Lakes to the uh, the northeast of them out here. You got Lake Superior and, uh, yeah, anyway. Well, it looks like I can climb up to 5,500 feet, so. Just keep on trucking. 5,500 right there, I'll get you going in just a second. Okay, folks, well, we're, uh, 37 nautical miles northwest of Oshkosh. And uh, here's the latest HATIS. 27, 2.22, altimeter 297 tree. Expect the have approach landing runway 27. Notice to airmen runway 523 and runway 1331 closed. Pioneer Airport is active. Pioneer is located one quarter mile southwest of the departure end of runway 27. Vintage antique aircraft operating 500 feet and below southwest of the field. Non-standard markings on both runway 1836 and Alpha Taxiway. Five on contact, you have information echo. Echo, echo. Okay, there we are. Little wind to contend with. Oshkosh Tower, it's Cherokee, Charlie Fox, Charlie, Charlie, November. And uh, Char uh, Canadian Fox, Charlie, Charlie, November, go ahead. How'd you say we're just coming up the uh, north co north part of uh, Lake Boygan. We're uh, about uh, 16 nautical miles northwest of the field. We're 2,500 feet uh, with information echo. Canadian Fox, uh, Charlie, Charlie, November, report midfield right downwind, runway 27. Midfield, right downwind, runway 27. Charlie, Charlie, November. Charlie, November, clear to land, 27. Here, thanks. It'll be a left turnout. I'm going into the uh, uh, camping. 
left in the grass and follow the uh, flagman to park it, sir. I will do. 2332 is going to Venice area parking. 332, Kyle, 132, 132.3 went off. Correction, contact ground 132.3. 5 Alpha, I'm to the west. 